Hey guys, in this video we're going to start looking at open channel flow and touch on surface waves. So open channel flow, as the name suggests, is some sort of flow that is exposed to the atmosphere. So that means that the flow has a free surface, which means there can be no applied pressure to induce a flow. Um, so for the rest of this topic, we'll be dealing with a flow that is driven by gravity only. Um, there are a few other definitions which we're going to need to classify the type of flow we'll be considering as an open channel flow. Uh, for uniform flows, the depth of the channel will be constant. Um, for non-uniform flows, the depth will vary. In terms of speed, the flow can be further classified into three broad categories. We use Reynolds number uh, to do this, which is... RE equals rho V D on mu or V D on this funny V here um, or we can use the hydraulic radius instead of the diameter which is RH. So we'll look at the hydraulic radius at a later stage but for now we'll go back to the classifications uh, which we use RE for. For an open channel flow with an RE less than 500, the flow is classified as laminar. Um, so this means it's a slow going flow uh, with which is very uniform um, and has very steady and uniform streamlines. For an open channel flow with RE greater than 12,500, the flow is classified as turbulent. Um, this means the flow is fast with streamlines that thrash about. Um, for an RE between these two values, we get transitional flow. And these numbers, are they're not exact. These are approximations, really. Um, but they're, they're quite commonly used. So we'll be using those to classify our flows. So there are all the classifications we're going to need for now. Let's move on to surface waves. A surface wave is the equivalent of, say, a ripple in a pond. It's the propagation of the surface above and below the horizontal. The speed at which these ripples or surface waves expand away from the initial disturbance is given by this equation here, um, C equals square root of GY, where Y is the depth of the body of fluid. It generally, generally applies to small amplitude waves only, but it's a nice and quick approximation for larger amplitude waves as well. So the speed of the surface wave is entirely dependent 